On Friday, February 22nd, we have Minority Law Awareness Day, and Minority Law Awareness Day is co-sponsored by the University of Tulsa and the Law School Admissions Council and part of their discoverlaw.org program. Um, we also <clears throat> had an opportunity to, to uh, get another sponsor, which is the National Association of Women's Judges, and they're actually uh, providing a scholarship to our University of Tulsa law students um, and in conjunction with this event. So we have a lot going on on, on this Friday, but we're very excited. Um, the growth of the program has been tremendous. In my three years doing the program, we've almost doubled the numbers, um, which has been a help of many people um, in, in uh, collaborating with different attorneys and and uh, schools and organizations to, to kind of uh, really encourage students to sign up and, and come to this program. They'll start with um, kind of a registration and then a dean's welcome, um, kind of welcoming all and, and encouraging and, and thanking them for, for making this part of their day. Uh, for the Tulsa Public Schools, I believe it's an um, a early release day, so they're really giving some of their time to, to do this event. Um, and then we're going to have a guest speaker, which is Loretta Radford. She She's an assistant district attorney of the North uh, Eastern District of Oklahoma, and she'll she's a Daniel uh, Webster High School grad, and then a TU uh, law alum, and so she's just going to give kind of her journey through her education, some obstacles, challenge, and then obviously her passion and for what she's doing, and and uh, really it's just a, a, a program to really encourage these students to stick uh, to education and hopefully achieve their goals. But the afternoon. Um, portion of the program, we have them um, have a plated lunch, and they're going to be able to mingle with um, attorneys in, in the Tulsa area. We also show them a color of justice video um, that the National Association of Women's Judges uh, put together, and that hopefully will, will provide dialogue for these students to visit with the attorneys. Um, that's when the scholarship will be given out to one of our TU grads, or TU um, students. And then um, we take them over to the Tulsa County Courthouse, and they get to visit with Judge Chappelle, um, who's a big supporter of our program, and again gives them kind of a, um, uh, just kind of a journey through what he's he's gone through and and um, to what he does and, and kind of um, what's made it possible to, again, encourage these students. Um, and and then we take them to a law firm. Connor and Winters has been um, so supportive again, and uh, they kind of take them through the law firm and show them the big boardrooms and kind of the offices, what what a lawyer does day to day, and then um, kind of gives them a little reception to finish it off. TU uh, has a great program that I think really um, supports Native American and federal Indian law um, classes, and in the program, uh, we have a couple different programs that really try to target uh, because o Oklahoma has such a rich history of Native American um, culture, we really want to develop and, and provide opportunities for uh, tribes to really um, uh, be supportive and, and to do what they they do and, and, um, and getting judges and attorneys and being able to try um, cases um, in their jurisdiction. So it's very important, I think, that, that the law school uh, really represents um, what our state um, has. TU has a, a Native American Law Center, and we have a, a certificate within our JD program for Native American law, and we also have a, a LLM that focuses on Native American and indigenous people, so they can further their law degree and, and get a specific, um, a little bit more centralized um, uh, uh, degree uh, within Native American law. Um, and then we have a Master's of Jurisprudence, too, um, that focuses on Indian law. We had an event last year that focused just on Native American um, students. It was Native American Pre-Law Day, and it, it was neat to see students um, that were interested in the program from all over. Um, we had one gentleman that came from Utah last year, and he was just so shocked to even see people like himself. Um, and so it really shows that Oklahoma is very rich in their Native American culture, and other states aren't. And so I think 
the law school being able to provide different events um, and different um, certificate programs within the law school, um, the Masters of Jurisprudence, it, it really can pull um, not only from our state but from, from around the country to provide um, different tribes um, the education and the um, opportunity to see people like themselves and, and encourage them to, to go forward and, and meet their goals and, and become professional um, either attorneys or judges or whatever the case may be.